The Legend of Zelda Game & Watch just released today, and I was really excited for this thing. I like collecting these. I mean, the Super Mario Bros. one is pretty cool. Came out last year. You can still find these occasionally in stores. And I know there's a lot of different ways to play these games. That's quite obvious, but these official little Nintendo emulator handhelds I, I think are pretty sweet. This one I used quite a bit, and I, I thought it was pretty fun. Now today I want to take a look at the new one, the Zelda one, and check out the secrets. I know there's some secrets within this that I want to look at as well, but yeah, I went to the store, picked this up this morning. My local Target had 45 of them in stock. It seems like shouldn't be too much of an issue finding these if you didn't get a pre-order in, so definitely check out Target, Best Buy, stuff like that if you're interested. But let's go ahead and open this up. Compare it, like the, uh, the boxes are identical from the uh, Mario one. As you could see, like the same layout, same size and everything. Like they didn't change anything other than, you know, the information for the games, right? It's keeping pretty much the same layout. I have a thought, like, I know these are like anniversary collection type of things, but I think like the next one, maybe they'll do a, a Kirby one. Like that would be pretty cool, especially because I was thinking like this has the NES games than the Game Boy game. Like if they did a Kirby one, they could do something similar. Uh, seeing what's contained in this, it, it it makes me a little, like, sad that this uh, Mario one didn't come with more. Like, they could have really put some of the Game Boy games on there. Gave you a little more value for the $50 you're spending, but I guess it is what it is, man. Maybe they'll make a revision in the future, and then, you know, a bunch of us will be suckers and spend the money again. But let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. Take a look at it, and like I said, I want to check out those secrets. From what I understand, too, it has, like, a... A screen just like the Mario one if you leave the game idle for too long you'll get like special little screens and I'm pretty sure one of them uh, Link's Awakening because this does have a uh, Legend of Zelda uh, Zelda 2 the Adventure of Link and then Link's Awakening for the Game Boy I'm pretty sure this one has multiple like snooze screen type things so let's go ahead and get this open special thanks and then we, we also do get a Vermin, the Link version, Game & Watch game. Let's see how this is uh, packaged. What's another paper in there? Oh, I remember, oh, you get a point code. Oh no, I can't show the point code. The, wow, okay, cool. <laughs> 300 points. You get 300 platinum points. Well, whatever, I'm gonna redeem this uh, before the video goes live, but that's cool, man. I wish everything would come with like, boom, you buy a controller, it comes with uh, 300 points or something. But that's pretty cool. The platinum points can be used for uh, physical products and stuff, like the uh, Metroid Dread posters and all that. We don't really need to look at this user guide, but it's there in case you, you need it. Here is the packaging. Nice little Zelda styling there. Uh, I think this Mario is sealed. I wanted to compare the inside package real quick. Let me grab the one that I opened. I have one that I opened and one that I kept sealed. I'm going to do the same thing with the Zelda one. I have another one that I ordered just to keep it. I don't remember what the uh, packaging was on this one. The Mario one, same thing, special special thanks. But what was the packaging? I don't think it was the same as, as that. Yeah, it was just, yeah. It wasn't as nice packaging as this. It was just like the same shape, but, you know, just a little crappy cardboard, you know, insert with the little USB-C cable, which is fine. I mean, like the inside doesn't really matter that much, but I did remember it was a little different. So this has to, okay, I, I see why they did it because people complained, like you didn't put a metal stand in these things and you didn't put a metal stand on the Zelda one, but you made this as a cardboard stand. I'm not gonna fold that out, but you could fold it out to have it like displayed with the game outside of this. It shows you right there. This is how you unfold it to have this stand up. Yeah, they could have just put the little metal clip stand on the back of these things. That would have been fine. Wow, this one really pops. That green is brighter than I thought it was going to be. Like, I thought it was gonna be a duller green, but no, that's that's freaking bright, dude. Yeah, the cable's gonna be inside there if you need the charge cable. There it is. So, to compare, we do have the different setup of buttons here. So, 
the Zelda one, we do have the game time pause and set, just like the Mario one and the A and B, but with the Zelda one, we do have the addition of select and start at the bottom there. Pretty cool. Power button on the side, USB-C for charging right there. There's the back with your serial number, I suppose. And speaker. Okay, let's turn this on. Press the time button. Okay, so here we go. I got the time set, and the one cool thing with this screen is it does transition to different areas, like you'll be out in the field and whatnot, and you can actually control Link and mess around. Whatever weapons and items he has on the screen, you can use on that screen. If you press the pause set button, you can bump up the volume, bump it down, change the screen brightness, set the time, turn the auto sleep on and off. Okay, so let's get into the games and talk about the secrets real quick. One thing that's probably very difficult to see, let me turn the light off. This is not an in-game secret, but the back where the Triforce is, it does glow if you have the system on. As you can see, it's kind of, I'm trying to angle it to the darkness so you could see. But if you're in the dark, yeah, that Triforce uh, glows through pretty good. So that's one little secret, one little secret, but that's just an aesthetic thing. We're talking about secrets in games. So if you press the game button, you have all your games listed. And it's cool because the, the NES Zeldas and the Game Boy Link's Awakening, you can change it between Japanese or English for the first two games. So you could play those versions of the ROM. Or Link's Awakening, you have French, English, or Deutsch, or Japanese. Pretty cool stuff. And then you do have Vermin down there. So let's jump into Zelda. The NES Zelda. Press the start button. Register a name. That's good. Now the secret's going to be the same, the secret code for each game. Hold the A button for five seconds. And it should like chime to tell you like, hey, you entered it. There you go. So on The Legend of Zelda, you get max hearts to start the game. So it's, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Sweet. So we could start the game with max life. That is pretty awesome. If you quit the game, you go back to whatever hearts you had. But uh, if you hold the A button on the select screen again, you'll get full hearts. So there's that. The game's looking uh, pretty, pretty good. No like weird screen tearing or anything. I did mess around with this for a moment before I started recording this section again, just to double check stuff. But yeah, the screen is looking good. The game's playing fine. So let's go ahead and move on to the next game. But I am gonna wait a moment so this can go to the uh, snooze screen. So we'll be back showing you that in a second. Okay, here we go. Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Let's jump into it. I already have a game started, but haven't started playing it. Same thing, if we hold A for five seconds, it'll jump into the game cheat in action, and each game the cheat is something slightly different. For Zelda 2, you start the game with full magic and full health. Pretty sweet stuff. I remember like not owning this game back in the day when I had an NES. It was more that I rented it every once in a while because it kind of, it, it was a little off-putting at first, but I still enjoyed it. But yeah, pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and let this one sit for the uh, three minutes to get the special screen. Okay, next up, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, one of my all-time favorites. Now with this game, there's actually an extra option. We could do the screen size full, stretch that bish out, or original. Pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and get into that. I wish it had the uh, like color options or it was the DX version, but unfortunately, no. Okay, same thing here. Let's hold A for five seconds. So there you go. As you saw, it started the game, but the chime went off. Now, it only shows three hearts, but wait. There's actually more to it in this, this uh, game than the three hearts. So we have to get out of here, get our shield, and go outside. Exited the house and we have full hearts. Now we need to go to the beach to get our sword and that's where the other extra comes into play. Oh, 
Who, who? Let's get our sword. You found your sword. Now check it out. As soon as we equipped it. It's actually the level two sword. Sweet. Some cheating action, man. So in this game for those snooze screens, there's a bunch of them. It really depends on where you're at, what you're doing type of thing. But I'm gonna let it sit idle and show you the just one of them for now. Okay, so we got one final game to take a look at. I've tried everything with different button combinations on the time screen to see if there's any other secrets. If there's anything you've discovered, let me know. But so far, I'm not finding anything. Now, with Vermin, we have two modes, game A and game B, but there is a third, more challenging mode. So let's just play game A for a quick second. So your, your Link, waiting for the moles to pop up, hit them type of thing, right? Pretty, pretty simple game. Kind of addictive for some people. I actually really like the uh, Game & Watch game that was on the Mario one. But there you go. If that's not much of a challenge for you, you can go to game B. But then also, if we reset the game, like if you just start the game and you're on this screen, hold A for five seconds, the game will start. And you see it says game A at the bottom. After five seconds, boom, we're in game C. A lot quicker. Oh my God. I can't, there's like no way to keep up on that. But yeah, there you go. Lots of, lots of little secrets, little extras you can mess around with in this game if you want to cheat and whatnot for all the different games that are included. I think this is a cool little thing. I know some people can't justify the price, but I think it's a, a, a neat piece of uh, hardware. Uh, I hope they continue making these things. Like I said, maybe a Kirby one would be pretty cool. A Metroid one would make a lot of sense as well. Uh, you know, keep making them, Nintendo. I'll buy them. I think they're pretty cool. Do wish they had the stands on the back though, man. Like that would be nice instead of the box as a stand. But there you go. Let me know what you guys think. Did you grab one of these? Drop a comment down below. Appreciate every single one of you guys. And with that said, give you guys a big ass blurry thumb butt across your screen like a Bigfoot. Catch you on the next one. Bye.